This is Greg Valentino, the Ramblin' Freak, coming at you this week with a rant about what's better, free weights or machines. So, don't go nowhere, because I'm coming at you right fucking now. <clears throat> In a world full of expectations, where time is of great concern, humanity will search for answers, and one man will find the power. Yo, who's the loser now? You are. Whoa! All right, this is going to be kind of a quick rant today. We're going to be talking about what's better, free weights or machines. Now, obviously, it, this is more towards you guys who have been working out for a short period of time uh, because uh, in a seasoned bodybuilder or a guy who's been working out a long time pretty much knows his own body, okay? So he kind of knows what works best for him. And that's what really bodybuilding and working out is, is a journey that we all take to find out what's best for us, what makes us grow, what makes the gains come on, what gives us the best physique possible, okay? And that, my friend, is what it's all about. We're constantly striving to make new gains and to, to get better, a better us, better me, better you. So people are always asking me, what's better? Should I be using more free weights? Should I be using more machines? And I tell them, well, first of all, Instinctive training is the best, you know, perspective here because you have to go instinctively. What's better for you? All right. Now, I happen to like a lot of machines. Okay, I do. I work out, especially since I'm older now. I work out a lot more on machines than I do with free weights. But when I started, I started at home and I didn't have any machines or anything. You know, just a bench and stuff. You know, with plastic weights. Uh, you know, back in uh, 1972, 73, you know, I had a little, you know, a bench I bought at like Caldors, which was a department, so it was kind of like Kmart, you know, I don't think they're, they're around anymore, but here in New York they were, and I bought a bench, and I did all my free weight exercises, I didn't have the luxury of even a gym around, because back then there were no gyms, all right, you had to go, you know, drive 50 miles to get to a gym, all right, so I had no choice. And you always hear people say about the free weights, you know, go heavy, go home, or you don't know, go heavy or go home, you got to do free weights, free weights is the only way to go. And it's not necessarily true, because if I was to take a beginner today, I'd like them to start off on machines more than free weights, and I'll, it, it, but go into free weights. And I'll, let me explain why. Because most guys, you ever see a guy when he first starts to bench, he's like this all over the place, right? Well, if I can get him on a machine that can simulate a bench, like a Smith machine or something like that, he kind of learns that arm slot. It's like baseball. When you start, even Major League Baseball players, when they start uh, spring training and all that stuff, they hit off a tee. They actually hit off of a tee, like a kid, like in t-ball. Because it gets their swing and they learn that, what they call the arm slot. Okay? Well, I believe it's the same thing with weightlifting, with working out. I believe that... With certain exercises, even flies, you see these kids, they start with the flies and the dumbbells are all over the place. Like this. But I believe that if you start off with a machine, okay, and you get that arm slot, you get that feel. A machine goes directly on a pec. There's no, there's no room for error. You, you don't make mistakes with a machine. It's like this to this, this to this. That's, you understand what I'm saying? Even a curl, like this to this, like this. There's no, there's no fucking it up. It's very hard to fuck it up, you know, unless you have it on the wrong setting and you're total fucking momo. So, I believe when you first start out, it's really good to start out with machines, all right? It's my belief. It doesn't mean it's right for everybody. And then gradually go into free weights. Learn the arm slots, okay? Learn how it's supposed to feel. You understand? Uh, most guys, the first time they get on bench, I'm telling you, it's like this with the bar, they're getting it up, and they're a little cockeyed and everything. But if you learn that arm slot, and you, you get that, it's because it, muscle has memory, and it's a very, very important thing, all right? So that's one of my beliefs. I believe that you got to learn that arm slot, all right? 
gradually go into then doing maybe you know after you try Smith machine for a while and you go into barbell you know uh, and as you get older you can kind of mix mix in free weights with uh, uh, machine work okay because I, I, there's certain things that like I don't like regular uh, dumbbell flies they don't hit me the right way you know what I mean but if I do them on a machine oh, it kicks my ass all right so you know, I, of course, I've done flies, you know, with dumbbells. I had no choice when I was younger, okay? But now, you know, with new technology, these machines are made to really kick your ass, to be honest with you. Even Dorian Yates, the great Dorian Yates, okay? He liked to incorporate a lot of machines. He used to squat on a Smith machine. Now, to some people, that's like, oh, man, that's taboo, squatting on a Smith machine. But then again, I've seen half these guys that squat... Uh, you know, in, in the gym, have no business even using half the weights that they use. They don't even go all the way up, all the way down, okay? You got to get the ass to your ankles, okay? Ass to the grass, however you want to say it, okay? When you're going to do squats. And if you're not going to do it right with a barbell, if you're going to be doing good mornings like this, then do it on a Smith machine. Or do what I do. I do leg presses, okay? My legs are fucking jacked. And I, I don't even squat. I haven't squatted in 30-something years, all right? I'm just telling you. This, these are things that are very very important okay and to the young bodybuilder growing up yeah I know the, the basic exercise deadlift squat you know bench all that stuff is very important but I think if you first do it on a machine and learn that slot learn that muscle memory the way it's supposed to feel and incorporate more you know more advanced trainers use a combination you know the, the most advanced bodybuilders you know the Mr. Olympias and everything they use a combination of free weights for certain things and you know and uh, 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 the machines for other things especially as you get older bro you definitely more machine work than anything because you know you've already established your build and you kind of know you know you, you just you know want to give the muscle the best workout you're not like a 21 year old kid where you're trying to gain you know all this mass but don't think that you can't gain mass on a machine. That's bullshit. Anybody who tells you that's a fucking momo. Okay, I know a lot of power lifts. If you're going to power lift, you, you know, you, you know, you obviously got to, you know, because working with dumbbells and working with barbells definitely help you with coordination. Okay, they definitely help. They're more, you, you can definitely get more strength out of that. Okay, you know, because, you know, tendon, ligament, strength, everything, the whole, the whole gambit. When you're working with free weights, because there's, you know, there's, you know, you can't, you know, you got to learn how to steady the bar, and, you know, and get that, you know, that, 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 that feel, that arm slot right, okay? When you're in a machine, it's just, you know, it's there, you know? But, uh, you know, a, a, as you get older, you mix in a lot more machines. Obviously, there's less of a chance to get hurt with, uh, you know, with, with, with machines. That doesn't mean you can't get hurt with machines. It just means there's less of a chance to get hurt, okay? But don't feel like you have to do the old, hey, go heavier, go home, or if you fucking, you know, if you're lifting with fucking machines, you're a pussy or any of that shit. That's all bullshit, okay? That's fucking bullshit. The worst thing is to listen to these other guys in the gym, okay? They don't know what they're talking about. If you're not a pussy if you're using machines, okay? It means you're smart. You can still get a hell of a workout. You can still build muscle. It's not like your muscle says, oh, he's using a machine. We're not going to grow now. You know, this is, come on, let's, let's be realistic. And today, these fucking machines that they make today, it's not like in the old days, okay? It's not, you know, with the cams and everything that's, you know, is driven to put the, 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 the intensity right on the, 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 the peak of the contraction of the muscle. You know, it's not like the old days, it's a cable. You know what I mean? These cams and, and belt driven and even, I used to love the chain driven Nautilus. I mean, my own. That's me though. I'm old school. You know what I'm saying? But I felt that every little, you know, every little thing. I mean, I felt it. But, you know, I'm still a big, you know, I still love doing it, you know, and there's nothing like a throwing a little bar, a dumbbell actually for me. Concentration curl where you're sitting over the freaking bench and, you know, you got the dumbbell, you know, you're curling that shit up. You know, it's, it's not like that for me. I mean, it hits my biceps like like nothing you ever. I could just do that and get humongous biceps. But that's neither here nor there. So let me end this rant today, okay? Uh, we're just telling you guys, use your machines wisely. F you know, fit them in your workout. Don't feel like you have to fucking go heavier, go home, and all that bullshit. It's all bullshit, okay? Because most pro bodybuilders aren't breaking records in the fucking gym with lifting weights, okay? You, you want to make the muscle do the work. Machines are a great, great, great way to get your muscle into that slot that it needs to do. If a pro baseball player who's a superstar 
goes to spring training and get hit off of a tee, then you can use a machine, okay? Stop listening to these fucking guys in the gym. Train wisely. Don't go too heavy. Make the muscle do the work, okay? Put the intensity on the muscle. All right, that's enough for this, for this fucking month, uh, for this week. We'll see you next week. Stop fucking around. Story's coming at you right now. I'll talk to you guys. See you in a week. All right, so I go to Seaside Heights with my kids, my niece and my daughter. It was about 2004, all right? My daughter was born in what, 97? She was about three, four. Now, I mean, it was about six, seven, well, maybe a little bit, yeah, but six or seven years old, okay? And my niece is a year older. So, anyway, they were young kids. So we went to the beach just one day. It was a very cold day in Seaside Heights. It was a very, very cold day, all right? It was one of those days, man, it was like fucking... You know, 65, 70 degrees, and on a beach, that feels like it's fucking 30, all right, with the wind and, you know, and I miss the new ocean. So we're on a Seaside Heights beach, right, more towards Seaside Park, if any of you people know where I'm talking about. And I get on there, and the kids are driving me crazy, but nobody's in the water, nobody, all right? It's kind of chilly, it's cold. Lifeguards are there, people are just sitting there, everybody's faces are moping and shit, you know, they're staring at the ocean, but nobody is in the water. All of a sudden, the Valentino shit bubble hits me. Now, let me tell you something. When I gotta take a shit, alright, is a countdown. Ten, nine, eight, get, better find a match or seven, six, better find a match, you know, it's one of those deals, okay? By the time I hit one, it's too late. So I'm sitting on the beach, and that shit bubble hits me. And I'm like, oh no. And I'm looking around like this. I'm like, oh fuck. Is there a sand dune around here I could jump behind and shit or something, you know? No sand dune. Countdown. I'm at like five in my head. Five, four, uh oh, three, two. And as I get there, I, start, I run like this. I sprint right into the water and dive right in the ocean. And as I dive in, shit starts coming out of me. It's not pretty. Nobody can see it because I'm in the water. But the whole fucking crowd was fucking, the whole beach was in an uproar. Yeah! You know what I mean? Because I looked like I was like, fuck it, I didn't give a shit. It's cold, doesn't matter. Look at that fucking guy. I was, I was jacked back then still. So I'm fucking, you know, I run into the ocean. I'm in there, I'm swimming, you know, and I'm fucking, you know, I'm, I'm up to here in the water. But I mean, I'm shitting. I got I pull my pants down, nobody can see it again, and I'm fucking just, you know what I mean, like, fuck, you know, I'm in here, and I'm just shitting away. Finally, I finish, you know, I shake out my drawers, I fucking, you know, wipe, shooting water up my ass, cleaning myself up, and rubbing it, and I, I come out, everybody's roaring, yeah, 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 you know, my, my kids are like, you crazy, man, it's fucking, wasn't that cold, yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, we'll go back to the hotel. I stay at the Howard Johnson's over there, okay, uh, you know, right there in Tom's River. So I'm at the Howard Johnson, and they have an indoor pool. So it's cold out, so we all go in the pool. We're in a fucking pool, we're swimming, right? We usually go in the pool and we get the sand off here, you know what I mean? I know that's just great for the fucking pool, right, the sand in there. But anyway, we go in there, and so we kids are splashing around, washing around. And my daughter and my niece go, oh my God, Dad, look. And they come up, and they, in their hands, they're holding seaweed. Dad, look, seaweed. Oh, it's seaweed. And I go, what the fuck? I look in their hands. And they're going, Dad, oh, it's coming out of your pants. It's coming out of your pants. And I look down and I see, like, seaweed coming out of my pants. All this green seaweed. Right? I look, my daughter's holding her hands out like this. I look in and I realize it's not seaweed. It's the fucking salad. I had the night before. It was in my shit. And when I, when I shit in my fucking pants, the, the fucking, my underwears and my pants acted like a strainer. The shit went out, but the fucking 
green shit stayed in my drawers. And when I came in the swimming pool, it all came out. So my daughter's holding in her hands pre-digested fucking chewed up fucking green salad. That's fucking disgusting. Okay? I know. It's disgusting. So I told my daughter, oh my God. You and Karina, put get get that out of here, get out of here. And like, what? It, why, why? It's seaweed. That look, it's seaweed. And I'm like, dude, that's not seaweed. Anyway, all right, I'm fucked up. Okay, what do you want me to do? I didn't tell him to go touch that shit. I didn't tell him till recently what the fuck that was. I said to him recently, do you remember when you had all that seaweed and it was coming out of my pants? And like, yeah. And I'm like, and now they're older, okay? My daughter's 18, my, my niece screen is 20. I say, yeah. There's an IHOP right there, and I used to have a big salad. I always eat steak and salad. That was the salad I had the night before. Okay, so I'm fucked up, all right? Listen, hey, you fuckers ain't no better. Anyway, this is Greg Valentino. Stop fucking around. All right, guys, be good to your girl. Stop fucking around. You're a bunch of momos, but you know I fucking love you momos, okay? Don't be a fucko. Subscribe. You can also go to my uh, thing, Greg Valentino, on YouTube. Stop fucking around! Welcome to the gym with Greg Valentino. I'm going to the club with Greg Valentino. Who got the biggest arms? Greg Valentino. Said Greg Valentino. Greg Valentino.